Welcome back, ZK fans, to Nano is a Done. I remain Shadow3333, your host, and now we have Flipstep and Failtoss and I have Horus, which I've been looking forward to, because this should be a really good match. So let's just get to it. So Flipstep and Failtoss are probably the two highest ranked players that are really active right now in 1v1. I haven't noticed like Clone or Drone or Google Frog or Golda playing much. But I'm pretty sure at this point, Feltos and Flipstep are very near the top of the ladder for active players. Feltos going for shields, Flipstep going for light vehicles. And no, it's not Lady Zabonita. This is Eye of Horus, as you can see at the bottom here, where it says Eye of Horus. So I put that at the bottom for people who don't know what the map is. Although clearly Orphelius does know what the map is. So I applaud your perceptiveness. Anyway, Flipsip is... Well, they know where Felthos is. I mean, they know Felthos started in the center. Certainly know now, because they can see over in the east, southeast side of the map, they did not start. And similarly, I mean, okay, it's a 1v1. You know your opponent's going to start in the center. That's, that's known. And... Wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Seriously, I haven't seen that been done in a long time. Where this, where you have the mound from the dirtbag get in the way of the factory. Mind you, the dirtbag wasn't quite in position, so as you can see, the factory is pretty f okay. They're actually fine at this point. I'm a little bit surprised that there's no terraforming being done to tear that down for, say, larger vehicles. But right now, it's not a big deal. Yeah, the dirtbag didn't get there in time. It used to be the case. It used to be a long time ago. Oh, there, it's leveled. It used to be that... Dirtbag, a common thing to do with the dirtbag was to throw it in front of a light vehicle factory and you'd, you'd block it off. Because the mound would block it off completely. It still does, but it also blocks bots. So it became less popular just because, surprisingly, even though you could do it for anybody, because people just kind of learned to get the defenses for it, get the defender up and then just level it out. Also, because of that quirk, because it blocks bots as well, if you get attacked while you're building a dirtbag for that exact purpose, it will destroy, it'll block your own factory off. So you gotta be careful about that. And Roach coming in. Ooh, well, only got rid of one Scorcher. That was not worth it. Cost wise, definitely not worth it. Bit of shame in the Roach, though. That could have been so powerful. However, at this point, getting rid of a bunch of units isn't a problem yet. It will be very soon, though. So yeah, that was, that was a bit of a shame. Probably Feltos is trying to push it over into right here, right in this tiny little canyon. I mean, what they'd want to have ideally would have roaches in all the canyons so that they can just know when things are there and deal with it. Actually, as you can see, a roach right here would have been really handy. Oh, Orphelius also pointing out Dirtbag Scout is not super common because of its speed. Which is a fair point. It is actually fairly slow. Although I do see it used all the time, like one Dirtbag Scout just to know what's going on because Dirtbags aren't worth much. And they're also, I mean, they can, they're pretty resilient. I mean, they have 600 health. They're, for crying out loud, stupid interval mini bullshit. Ay. Anyway, yeah, so bandits have 250 health each. Dirtbags have 600 health. And dirtbags are worth half a bandit. Like, they're, they're worth half as much, and they're twice as tough. So they're not great for dealing damage, but for knowing what your opponent's up to and getting into there, yeah, that's great. I see they're used all the time. I know Orphelius is saying that dirtbags are only good as expansion scouts, but no, I find they're used a lot. I don't know how good necessarily they are. They seem to be okay as start scouts to at least get a start position, but they're not a big problem. Like, using them isn't a big loss. And both players get in the center pretty strong. I think Feltos has a slight disadvantage here. Lift up a little bit better defended. Feltos with... Not as much in the way of defense. A little bit more forward, though. They're definitely trying to take more, more quickly. On the other hand, another scout. So, Dark going back and forth. Flipstep wants to make sure they know exactly what Felthos is up to, and I applaud that. You want to know what your opponent's up to. Always. Making sure you know what your opponent's up to is the first step to victory. Flipstep 
Now still going for the Scorchers. This is still the stage in the game where that's a relevant thing. I mean, it's Eye of Horus. Raiders stay relevant for a surprisingly long time in Eye of Horus. Although, then again, they don't stay... They don't stay relevant for as long as you might expect for a map of this size because of the blocked areas. But they do stay relevant because of the blocked areas as well. Like, it's harder for... It's harder for riots to get around because of the hills, and that allows raiders to take the hills and go around. I mean, it's only true for bots, but still, they can take the hills and just attack everything. They actually have a much easier time. Bandits and glaives have a much easier time going around the map using those hills, and it's harder to stop them. Light vehicles, not so much. So actually, flip tip. I don't know how long they're going to keep using those scorches for. Wouldn't be surprised if they switched over to ravagers in the next couple minutes or so. Ooh, another. There we go. That's making cost. Roach on two Scorchers. Actually, was that three Scorchers? Oh, and a band. Oh, wait. That was the... That was Feltos' bandit. But hey, it worked. The Roach did its job, at least. How many Roaches are there, by the way? Like, at this point... That was it. Another one being built up, though. But yeah, that's it. That's the only Roach in play right now is the one right here. And over to the northwest, more bandits coming in, more harassment. Flipstep wanted to make sure that Failtoss gets nothing for free. And unfortunately, Failtoss got a bunch of reclaim for free. Or, well, at the cost of some defenses. Though at the same time, losing a bunch of Scorchers, so this is kind of staying even. Two Scorchers for nothing! That was actually free! Failtoss didn't lose anything to get those. Nice reclaim. Now, are there workers nearby to reclaim it? Well, there's one convict over further south, but that's a ways south, so basically no. Okay, Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine Ravager. There we go. That's that's what I expected. Wolverine Ravager leveler. This is where the switch happens, and Felthos as well, going off of Raider game, going for more late game stuff. And Roach coming in dangerously close to these bandits. Gotta be careful. If they get pushed back too far... And they didn't get pushed back too far, but if they had, that roach would have been a liability. Doesn't make cost when you blow up your own units in the process. Although at this point, the eastern side of the map, Feldos still needs to take that. Working on taking that, flips up on the other hand, taking the west side of their map, so... Oh, and the east side as well. So flips up right now, slightly ahead economically. Not too much, just slightly ahead economically. Velthos will be getting up, though. And once Velthos actually gets even just these expansions, they will be ahead. Velthos has a bit more overdrive, a bit more energy overall. Well, flips up on the other hand, far less energy, far more spread out. And these expansions aren't being overdriven at all, and actually are pretty much not being defended either, allowing Velthos to take the economic advantage without even having to finish building this southeast expansion. Taking flips up's equivalent, tearing that down, and that will be very useful. And another roach. Ooh, didn't quite make cost. Got help. Got rid of one of the. Help get rid of one of the ravagers. Actually, help get rid of both the ravagers. Really, that worked out nicely. And a roach right next to this expansion over here. I mean, that could actually rush in and blow this up if it wanted to. I'm pretty sure it would deal enough damage. Actually, how much damage does it deal? 1,200. Yeah, if it rushed in, the lotus wouldn't kill it in time. It would probably get close enough. And Felthos breaking through the commander. That ooh, that Faraday being a problem, but not enough of a problem. Flips to forced back. And nice outlaw there. Nice outlaw shielding, by the way, too. Those thugs are really helping out there. Flips to commander pretty much stuck. Now, the one thing is these thugs have to not die. And flips to... There we go. Nice. Nicely done, Felthos. Moving away from the burst right before it happens. Like, baiting that burst, basically. Although, admittedly, they kind of force it, but still. Forcing the burst and then getting out of the way. Unfortunately for them, the Dominatrix, not quite so merciful. But still, Feltos got rid of Flipsip's commander while getting rid of most of their economy, making a massive economic advantage, and there's no workers up here either. So this entire forward section basically can't be rebuilt or reclaimed until some workers come in there. And it looks like none of the Masons... Where are the Masons right now? See, one over the main... Two in the main base. East. West. Yeah, nothing in the center. Nothing at all in the center. That's pretty vulnerable. 
Okay, this roach, like, now? Now would be perfect. I think Feltos is not going to risk it, though. I don't think they're figuring it's going to be a good idea. Got Gunship Switch. Misread Air Switch, though. They, they're they expecting Feltos to go for air. Feltos, no, sorry, Flipstip to go for air. Feltos has gone for air. Flipstip is not. So these Tridents aren't as useful as they'd like. Banshees would have been awesome here. Or actually, Rapiers would have been better because the Dominatrix would have killed, would have taken the Banshees, would have been a problem. But Rapiers would have been great in this situation. And now, ooh, this Roach, so close. Actually, the Roach would be perfect right now because the line of sight blocking. But I don't know. It might not work. Actually, it doesn't really matter because the Thugs will be able to take this Eastern expansion out. Feltos surprisingly not attacking from the Northwest, though. All those bandits there, just sort of waiting. And there we go. The Roach didn't do quite as much as I hoped it did. Or hoped it would. But then again, it also didn't kill its friendly thugs. And the friendly neighborhood thugs, gotta make sure you don't, you don't hurt them. Flips to still with the dominatrix, though. Not really that much of a problem, mind you. And here's the rapiers. That's exactly what was needed. Half a dozen rapiers coming in here. And the dominatrix on reload. Getting destroyed, and that... That should basically do it, I think. I don't really anticipate this is going to go any better for anybody at this point. I mean, it might, but I just don't really anticipate that. And it looks like Felthos and Flipstip... I'm oh, sorry, Felthos hitting Flipstip's base. Flipstip's... Northeastern expansion, rather, while taking the entire south side of the map. I, does Flipstip have any answers here? They're getting some air. They're getting some Swifts of themselves to deal with everything, but that's not really enough. Flipstip really getting torn to shreds now. But yeah, Flipstip's kind of lost. I don't, I don't see anything being built. Is there anything? Anything at all? Not easily. Although Fieldhouse not actually building anything at the moment. Fieldhouse actually accessing metal hugely. Wow, okay, that was temporary, but still, I don't know what was going on there. Major metal access for no real reason. Lift up going for Ravens. I'm not sure. Are they planning on. How are they planning on dealing with this? Because I'm curious. They're going for the Ravens, which I guess would deal with. Felons? Wouldn't deal with the gunships too well, but it would deal with the felons okay. But I think this... I must have really good mass damage. Felon, sorry, ravers, ravens don't really do that. Phoenixes do, ravens don't. So I don't see that working especially well. Yeah, I think this is probably gonna be it. We'll see, though. Is this going to be it? Maybe. Actually, the answer is probably yes. Although, coming in for the Felon. Oh, no, what? Are they? Yeah, they are. Ooh, just about. Didn't quite manage to get it. Ouch, lost all three Ravens. Didn't manage to take out the, the Felon completely. 70 health left on that Felon, but I think this is where Feldos is going to win. I think Philipsip is going to call it right here. I mean, what else is there, really, at this point? Oh, there's that. There's the Thunderbird. But no follow-up force means no real way of dealing with that. And that's game! Flips up, throws in the towel, and that is going to be it. So, look like, really just came down to a few small little things here and there. Just losing some units. Losing a few units over here. Losing a few units over there. And eventually, just not being able to deal with Felthos. Just Felthos fail, just had too much. And Flips up didn't really build up enough. I mean, they had the economic advantage at first, but once they lost the Northwest, it seemed to fall down from there. They didn't have any defenses over here. Completely naked expansion. And they actually had an opening over to the East, which they didn't really know about, but they were scouting with a dart the entire time. If they'd kept... If they'd just built a dart every time the one was destroyed, scouted up and down, they would have seen, oh, hey, Fieldhouse has nothing to the East, and it's kind of open that way. Let's attack from that direction rather than the well-protected Western direction. If they had done that, that would have worked, like, once, but it would have been probably a really, really powerful attack, given that they're really... There's not much in the way of defenses here. Defender, defender... Yeah, not much. 
the Lotus is weren't built. Like, this entire area here, ignore everything that's currently built over to the west. There wasn't anything there. If Filthos had been hit from the eastern side of the map, that'd have dealt a lot of damage. And that's what Philipsa was scouting. Anyway, that is going to be it. So thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good night.